Hi, this is Sherry Bennett with North Carolina Cooperative Extension here in Union County. Today, Jamie and Anthony from Brothers Seafood are going to delight us with a delicious veggie stuffed bass recipe. The ingredients that you will need are green onions, white onion, green pepper, yellow bell pepper, two medium-sized bass, olive oil, Old Bay seasoning, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. All right, so when you grab the fish, you open this gill plate. Typically, you have the fish laying to the left of you to make it easier. If you're left-handed, it would be the opposite. You cut down right behind the gill, go to the uh, anal flat, uh, vent, Cut straight up to the chin where you just cut the gills and you open it up and you pull out all the good stuff that's inside. And usually it all comes out like that. Then as you go, you gotta make sure you keep your cutting surface clean. And then you would go back into the fish and you open up this section here, the bloodline. You can use the tip of your knife, just go at it slightly. It doesn't have to be a sharp object. Just open that flap of skin up. Remove any extra debris. Then you just rinse your fish out. Nice cold water. If you're at home, you can use a brush or stronger uh, pressure water. There's anything to help you get out the little blood that's in there. It's not gonna hurt you, it's just gonna have a little bit stronger fishy flavor. And when we sell you the fish, we'll prepare it any way you'd like, whether it's this way, head off, split open, filleted, any other method. The cutting board again, after all the nasty guts and all the innards were on, so on top of it, mm -hmm. give it a nice rinse with hot water and soak. Give it a good scrub, make sure you get all the gunk off before you go back to prepping the fish. So at this point, what you would do is you would take your fish, uh, place the head away from you, and then find the upper backbone, like the very top rib, uh, right behind the head. And you just push slightly until you hear it crack. And then you just pull gently down all the way to the tail of the fish and it lays the fish perfectly open for you. And you do it again on this one. You just go in with the tip of the knife, and pull straight down. And then if it doesn't disconnect all the way, you can just give it a little pull and it will break open. And then you have it just like that, ready to go, ready to season stuff, and then you fold it back shut and get on your way. We'll take our prepared fish and you can really use any ingredients that you'd like, but these are the ones that are most common. So we're gonna take our fish and I have a greased pan prepared and we will lay the fish on here like this move that out of our way and we will lightly season the inside and outside with a little old bay use as little as much as you'd like we tend to be a little heavier <laughs> but for this I won't garlic 
You can use fresh garlic, whatever you have in your cabinets, really. fish and we will sprinkle again as little as much as you'd like I'll kind of fold it shut. These are a little smaller fish. And then I will kind of just put the extra around the tray because it makes for a great side dish. Mm -hmm. If you're a big onion person, which I am not. <laughs> <laughs> but, the peppers and stuff but yes, like then you can, so there's no waste. And once they're all cooked, they're gonna be delicious. I do tend to add a couple pats of butter just because I'm a butter person, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's not the healthy way to go about it. Mm -hmm. And now you're all prepared to put in the oven. Okay. And then we'll put it in the oven mm -hmm. at 400. minutes left and you'll notice that the eyes started to to turn white and pop out we're gonna check the temperature to see where we're at right here and our, our to go to temperature is 145 there you have it delicious veggie stuffed bass for more great seafood check out Brothers Seafood House, located at 3707 U.S. Highway 74 in Wingate, North Carolina.